So in this video, I want to start talking about linear measurement. Linear's root word is line. So we're basically measuring things that are flat, that we can make up with lines. Um, so we're not going to be measuring like volume, for instance, and that's how much water we could pour inside of a cup. We're going to be measuring flat objects. So to start with, I want to measure the perimeter. So the perimeter is the length around a shape, basically. Or if we want to get really specific, it needs to be a simple closed curve, going back and using some of those definitions that we had before. Um, so we can't, for instance, have something like that. We can't measure that perimeter because it's not simple. It crosses. Or we couldn't measure the perimeter of this because it's not closed. So we have to have simple closed curves in order to measure the perimeter. So I've got some simple closed curves down here for us um, to look at. So these are, you know, some irregular shapes. They don't have names, but that's okay. The perimeter would be measuring all the distance all the way around. Well, in this shape, and this is kind of a key to a lot of these, is I don't actually have all the links listed. So if you notice, this side right here does not have a number with it, and neither does this side. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work to find those. So all the way across is seven, but I know this far across is three, and I'm getting that from down here. You can imagine just making it go boop, 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 all the way up. So no, all the way across is three meters. So I need to find this missing part here. If the whole thing is seven, and this part is three, the missing part then is four meters. So that's this outside part here. Now to give myself space, I'm gonna erase that. Now I'm also missing this vertical part here. I know all the way up and down is five. And then the only other up and down I see is this one over here. So this little spot right here is one meter. So if all the way is five meters, and I'm getting rid of this one, that means that I'm gonna to have to be left with four. And this just happens to be the same number. They're not always the same, just a weird little quink dink for this one. So this vertical piece is also four meters. Now I can go through and add each one of these. I will tell you, um, when you're starting this out, the easiest mistake that people are gonna make is they're gonna to forget to add part of it. So I kind of make sure and go through and cross out as I write it down. And then also we only want the outside. So I know I marked this part as three and this little part is one. We don't need those. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Here we go. So I'm gonna start by adding seven. So I've used that one. Then I've got five. So we've used that one, three, one four, then another four, and then last a one. One thing in math is just being really systematic and consistent. So going through and showing that marking off. You're really gonna wanna do that with your students because it's so easy for them just to kind of look at and try to add up and they might forget one of the sides. So the more work you show and these kind of little tricks of the trade, they're gonna mimic that and follow along. So our answer is if we add those all up, we're gonna get 24 and we wanna make sure and use the units here so 24 meters, so we do want to include our units. Um, that's what we call a, a um, precision to detail. And, that, and that's always one of our um, kind of overarching math goals that we have that can, goes across more than just geometry or algebra, but across all different math disciplines. So why don't you hit pause and give B a shot, and then we'll come back and work it out. All right, so hopefully you gave it a shot. B is missing a part right here. Let's see, it's missing this little piece there. So if I go to work this out, I know that all the way across is nine, but using this four up here, do, 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 bringing that four down, all the way to this piece is four. And my other horizontal piece I know, bringing that down all the way down here, you don't have to draw the areas if you don't want to, is three. So I can find out this missing piece right here. Nine minus this four minus this three. So nine minus four 
minus 3 is going to give me 2. So that little missing piece is 2 centimeters. Now I don't need all this work in here. I don't want to confuse all my numbers or confuse you guys. You don't have to erase it off your paper if you don't want to. Then I'm going to come through and I'm going to add up everything that's in the perimeter. So 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus another 2 plus 3 and another 3. I'm going to go ahead and write both of them. That's probably a little lazy on my part. Should have done that. Plus 6 and then plus 9. If I add those all up, I'm going to get 34 and then my units is going to be centimeters. So my answer, my whole answer, you have to include the units for our final answer, is 34 centimeters.